Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabel and today we are going ice skating. We are in the car bright and early. It is 7.51 and we are on our way to go first off gas the car and then we're going to stop at Tim Hortons to get some breakfast and then we're going to go ice skating at this place called Lac de Lou where they have a trail in the forest that you can do which is going to be so much fun and I thought I would bring you guys along. Alright you guys, I've got you guys set up really weirdly in the car but yeah I wanted to show you guys what we got from Tim Hortons if you guys are Canadian please leave me your Tim Hortons order down in the comments I am so curious to know what you guys eat it can be breakfast lunch just like a regular like snack order what you would get um, but let me show you guys what we got um, you guys might think I'm crazy but I actually got iced coffee but you guys know I just love my iced coffee and I, I feel like the car is gonna warm up anyways and I'm gonna want it to be iced so let me show you guys what I got oh this is in the way all right, so we got my iced coffee. If you guys watched, no, actually I didn't vlog that day, but you guys can check out my TikTok. It'll be linked down below. I actually did go to Tim Hortons and I got some iced coffees for Alex and I, and I swear to God, it tastes like maple syrup. And I feel like it's probably in my head, but at the same time, if this one tastes like maple syrup, I'm gonna have some serious questions for Tim Hortons. I'm not mad about it, but I have questions. Like, how do you get your coffee to taste like maple syrup? Then Alex got a regular coffee double double and then I got we got two muffins chocolate chip muffins from Tim Hortons so usually what we get our orders like two trios and instead of the potato that comes with the trio we usually go for muffins because it's just gonna fill us up more when we're hungry for a snack versus the potato and we can actually keep this to eat later like when we're coming back from skating but the potatoes are just not going to be that good anymore so that's what we usually do it, it does like cost actually to do that but it's worth it to us and then we got um i think it's called so in french it's called wrap travailleur i think it's called the farmer's wrap in english but it comes in this little bag right here and it has like such a good like sauce in it and there's eggs sausage potatoes in it like definitely not healthy but i mean we're gonna burn our calories this morning anyways because we're going ice skating so yeah that was our little order and as you guys can tell i did my hair this morning i wanted to look cute and also this is third day hair and it was looking kind of greasy so i thought i might as well like poof it up so it doesn't look too flat but i didn't have time to do my makeup so i'm going to do my makeup and I also talked about my mask need that I feel that I have on my face. And honestly, I did a face mask yesterday. Well, actually in my last vlog. And it really, really helped. Honestly, like, I still have marks. But it really helped me, like, tone it down, I feel. Like, it's less red. There's a bit less. And they're not as big. So... Yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll show you guys the final result. Obviously, I'm not gonna put some on my cheeks because I really want this to go away before I start to work again, which I do start working on Monday and I will have to wear a mask all day. So I'm really trying to get this to go away before I have to start putting a mask on every single day for eight hour shifts. You guys, we made it. I also did my makeup. Can you guys? There we go. I also did my makeup. I didn't do too much. We are gonna be like outside all day, so I don't wanna do like a big face of makeup, but. I did my makeup, I'm wearing my little Aritzia hat, and we're gonna head out. It doesn't open for about another five to 10 minutes, so we're gonna wait here, but it's gonna be so much fun. I am bringing you guys along. Guys, we made it. It's super cute, there's wood everywhere, and there's only like three people that just went on the ice, so it's gonna be very, very calm for probably the first 20 minutes. But you just get on right there, and then you go, and there's a little path that you can do, and it looks so fun. I had some leggings on. And I ended up putting joggers on because it was just so freaking cold. And I have some mittens for my hands. It is cold outside. But I'll try to vlog as much as possible to show you guys what it looks like. The gentleman, you guys, he's helping me put my skates on because I haven't put skates on in like five years. Thank you. Look at how cute this is. I'm actually going to put the camera away because I have not skated in so long that I literally got on the ice and almost fell. So I'm going to get used to skating and then I'll vlog a bit more later. Alright you guys, we are sitting by a fire. We just did the entire loop once and 
oh my god i almost fell a couple of times but it was a lot of fun so we're gonna do it again i'm gonna try to vlog the only thing is i really do not want to drop my camera i do not have the money to buy a new one so i cannot afford to drop this camera so yeah but i am gonna bring you guys along maybe we'll stop a couple of times it was really nice the first time we did it we were alone there wasn't anybody else so it was really nice to just be alone on the ice also let me show you guys the fire like look at how cute this is just a little setup it's a little fire we're warming up my toes are freezing right now but other than that i'm warm i have joggers and leggings on so i'm pretty warm but yeah we're gonna head back on the ice a little bit more people have arrived we're on the ice and we're gonna go for a second round it's three kilometers long so it's like pretty big but at the same time it's not too big and about every single kilometers you can like loop back and just come back instead of doing the entire three kilometers which is really really nice um but yeah let me show you guys what it looks like in the forest it's so nice and the lighting's like really really good right now look at this it's so nice alex did hockey so he's like really good at going fast but not me i suck i'm going really really slow right now <sighs> Yay. I'll have this place linked down below if any of you guys are from the area and you guys want to come I'll link their page down below it's also just $15 for the admission which is I feel like it's very very cheap for all the work that goes into this place so yeah I'm so happy we're probably gonna try to come back one more time before it gets too warm for the ice but we'll see if we have the time like if we don't have time we're definitely gonna be back here next year all right we're gonna skate a bit and I'll talk to you guys in a little while this is what I meant if you want to do the three kilometers you can keep going this way but if you want to go back whoop, then you can just go this way and then head back to the cottage which is really really nice and there's also this little map I'm gonna show you guys the map so where we are oh there we go this is what the map looks like. Do you want to show it from closer? I'm not going to head oh. up there. So it shows that we are right here and it goes all the way up there. So it's pretty big. Well, three, three kilometers, like you said. It's a nice little workout. Nice little workout. <laughs> also, you guys, they have these little houses and there's squirrels in it or chipmunks. I think this one's a chipmunk. Can you guys see? He's just in there eating lunch. And they're literally like everywhere. A couple of them were actually fighting earlier and I swear one of them flew. Like literally flew. Uh, also, you know how I put some makeup on? Well, my makeup leaked. Alex uh, let me know that earlier. Alex let me know that it leaked on my eyes. And then he was like, why did you put makeup on? And then I, <laughs> I as a girl, put the blame on him. Why didn't you tell me not to put makeup on? Uh, I actually said something. He did. I was just fooling around. All right. All right, you guys, we're back in the car and we are leaving now. I actually did end up falling. There were little bumps, like ice bumps on like the trail and I think I went like straight into one and I went flying <laughs> in the front. Well, I kind of did, like I fell on the front, by the front. I went flying frontwards <laughs> and yeah, I hurt my knee, but my knee's fine and my elbow, but I think it's fine because they don't hurt anymore, but I was scared the rest of the time that we were skating. I was like, oh, I don't want to get another one because that was not fun. And also you don't want to have people see you fall you know so anyways now we're heading home and we're gonna eat our muffins and drink our iced coffees because Alex hadn't finished his warm coffee this morning all well, hot coffee and now it's, it's pretty much an iced coffee. it's pretty much a nice coffee so yeah we're gonna head home and I'll talk to you guys in a bit you guys we are finally back home we actually ended up spending a bit of time at my dad's house when we brought the skates back because my stepmother needed the skates for an activity that she's doing tomorrow and they were her skates and I'm just noticing that my mascara leaked everywhere under my eyes that's great um but yeah we spent a lot of time outside and it was so cold outside today so i think i'm gonna take a bath and i'm also going to eat soup for dinner because that's just gonna warm me up uh so yeah i'm going to take some soup out of the freezer take a bath and cozy up on the couch and watch tv 
and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, I just made dinner. I've got this soup that I had in the freezer and then I made this fruit bowl with some grapes and mangoes and this looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to eat this and this because I am freezing. So I'm gonna eat both of these and I'm so excited. Also, I did end up just sitting in the shower for like 20 minutes early, earlier because I was freezing and literally like my feet would burn when water would go on them because they were so cold but we had so much fun today like i mentioned earlier i'll have their website linked down below if any of you guys are from the region and you guys want to check them out feel free to check the link down below what is up you guys it is the next day and it is also the afternoon i actually spent the morning editing a vlog for you guys it is actually my aritzia super puff review so if you guys haven't seen it and you want to check it out i'll have it linked down below for you guys but yeah i just want to say good morning or good afternoon i'm probably gonna go out for a walk maybe do a little workout but i am so sore from yesterday like my back hurts my leg hurts also i have a big bruise on my knee i'm going to chill a bit and then go out for a walk and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm in my bedroom and I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel yet, but I have a dilemma. I know I've talked to, about this to a couple of people, but I'm not sure I've talked about it on my channel yet. It's not a big deal, but I would love you guys' opinion if you could leave a comment down below. So let me explain. So we've been spending so much time at home recently, obviously because of COVID and not working. And yes, I am going to start working tomorrow. I can finally go back to work, which I'm so excited about. And I am starting at a new place, which is gonna be so exciting also. But that doesn't change the fact that we are very, very limited on what we can do at night or on the weekends. Like we can't just go out and do whatever we would do regularly. And even if we could, I'm still gonna be spending a lot of time at home because I'm just that kind of person. And I was wondering, should I get a TV in my bedroom? So when we were in our last apartment, our apartment was so small and it was perfect. It was like cozy, but very, very small. I could literally see the TV from the living room, the living room TV from my bedroom. So I was laying in my bed and I could watch TV from my bed, okay? But now my bedroom is at the other end of the apartment so it's at one end and then the living room is at the other end and sometimes I would love to be able to be laying down in my bed and have a TV in my bed in my bed in my bedroom so I'm wondering what do you guys think what are you guys thoughts on getting a TV for my bedroom because we do have a really good TV in our living room and I love that TV and I love sitting in the living room to watch tv but i feel like sometimes like alex wants to game and i let him game on the tv but then i don't have a tv to watch anything on so i have to watch it on my laptop but if i'm doing other things on my laptop at the same time then i can't watch my show at the same time which like isn't a big deal and I, I feel like for the past few years, I've just not wanted a TV in my bedroom, but now I kind of want one. And I feel like it could be a really cool thing. But let me show you guys like where I want to put the TV. All right, so basically I would put it on this wall right here. I would remove this little mirror and put the TV here instead. So let me show you guys from another angle. So my bed is here. I have a mirror over here and I have one right here, which like I, I like having both my mirrors here. I don't like it doesn't bother me but i could definitely put this mirror in the dining room and have a tv on this wall right here and i could just lay in my bed at night and watch tv what are your guys thoughts on this and let me show you guys where i would put this mirror in our dining room all right so we've got our dining room right here we have our little table yes our bikes are inside right now because it's snowing outside and we didn't want to have a whole bunch of snow on them and then for them to get rusty but I would put the mirror on this wall right here, the round mirror, and then I could have a plant right here, and I'll have some curtains up here. So what do you guys think? And then on this wall, I'm thinking probably like some art pieces or frames, I'm not sure, but what do you guys think? Also, my dining room is not gonna look like that because I am going to switch it up. I have a whole vision board for the entire apartment. Um, because I I really want to start decorating the apartment So I've got a whole vision board for it and I think that that mirror would look really really cute in the dining room 
and I actually already wanted to get a mirror. I did want to get a rectangular mirror to put up on the wall, um, like sideways. Um, but I, I could go for the round mirror and I don't have to buy another one, so that would be great. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do, but I really want to get a TV. Obviously, I'm not going to get one right now, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about that. All right, you guys, I just got dressed. I have my Aritzia hoodie on and I've got my Lulu leggings, my usual outfit. I'm going to head out the door, maybe walk a bit, get some fresh air, and then I'm going to go to my mom's house with Alex. She has a whole bunch of food for the Super Bowl and we're going to go steal some because she has way too much for the amount of people that are in her house. So we're going to get some for us for the Super Bowl tonight. I'm not watching, but Alex is and I'm just going to enjoy the food. So that's what we're going to do. We're heading out the door right now. All right, you guys, we are back home. And um, so my mom did have a lot of food, but she had mostly like chicken wings, chicken fingers, and a whole bunch of like chicken. And we already had chicken wings at home since I got some at Costco Friday. So we ended up stopping at the IGA to get a frozen pizza. And I'm making chicken wings right now and some fries for the Super Bowl. So I'll show you guys once I'm done um, what our feast i guess looks like i'm not going to be eating too much because i know i'm not going to feel well tomorrow if i do but i will for sure enjoy so yeah right now i have my little helper right here nala but yeah um i'll show you guys what um our feast looks like once everything is done all right you guys i'm done prepping and i really want to show you guys what i made i'm really happy with the amount that i made and also with what i made so let me show you guys all right, so we've got some chicken wings. These ones are in a buffalo sauce. These ones are in a honey garlic sauce. Then we've got a little pizza and a bowl of fries. So we don't have too much. I feel like some people go overboard like really badly for a Super Bowl, but I feel like this, we're gonna eat it all and we're not gonna be like too stuffed and we're not gonna be wasting any or, any or anything like that. So yeah, we're gonna eat this and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What is up you guys? It is a few days later and I am editing this vlog and I realized I never ended it off. So I'm going to end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed our little weekend vlog, our little ice skating date. We had so much fun. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you guys want to see from me in my next videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.